you're watching 8-bit days a week and we're gonna play some Castlevania Chronicles on a PlayStation Classic let's see how this performs and uh, hopefully it should run great I don't expect issues here this is actually um, a port of an older Castlevania on a Japanese only computer so it was ported over to the PlayStation here it, uh, they just gave like a minor change to the s sprites of uh, Simon and gave them some different music you know yeah I, don't, uh, I do believe that this CG scene is only here on the PlayStation version Uh, gameplay wise it uh, plays like a classic Castlevania you could say it's just a alternate version of the NES Castlevania the first game but your let's just play it your Simon once again um, special edition I didn't remember that. Anyway, let's go ahead with the gameplay. Let's go ahead with the arranged mode so you'll see the different, the newer sprites. See, even the name entry screen is similar to the Famicom Disk System version of Castlevania, the first one, and the intro as well course um, yeah as you can see it starts off very very similar so a remake of some sort but you can actually move around on your jump as opposed to the NES version where you're really jumping like that only like this this one you have better control <laughs> And as you can hear, the music is a remix of um, Vampire Killer. First stage lifted directly from the not not directly though, but uh, you know what I mean. Performance-wise, it looks. Um, I do notice some uh, there I'm not sure if it comes out in the recording but there did, did you see that it's not it's not as smooth as, as it should be like it's kind of like the the screen is lagging a bit and then we'll immediately try to catch up that's not because of the video it's really how I'm seeing it on the screen right now so I'm not sure if you guys could actually see that on the recording but yeah there, there seems to be like an issue here it's not running as smooth as I hope when you're when the screen is scrolling Crap. And just use the time stopper there. Anyway, if um, you get used to that that screen lagging effect that hap that's happening you could still enjoy this game but I suppose it's for a more it's for more for the casual fans because if you're looking for like the perfect way to enjoy this game I don't think this is it there see 
I not sure if you really got you guys could really see it though. As I assure you that wasn't that's not in the uh, or on when you're playing it on the original console, it's nothing like that. throwing the special item is the same as the NES version up attack button and even the first boss is quite similar that's it about the similarities I think with the original NES version because on the next stage it will be com completely different already Uh, Simon made his appearance in Smash Ultimate. He doesn't seem to have this color scheme though. But this, you know, the one with the red hair or something, that did appear on Dreamix World TV Fighters. So I guess for a while Konami was really pushing for Simon to look like this instead of the blonde hair um, look and as mentioned the similarities between this and the NES have ended on the first stage Everything will be different from this point. Some of the other music tracks do make their return here. I think Bloody Tears is here somewhere. As well as Beginnings. If you're familiar with those tracks. Well, um, if you're just looking for an excuse to play this game again, uh, you can go ahead and load it up in your classic console. But this is definitely not the perfect way to do it. It's not. It's not even remotely accurate, because <laughs> because of that little uh, lagging effect that happens it, it's not screen tearing it's just sometimes the scrolling is delayed for some reason or is that what screen tearing is no I, I, I see different I see something different when uh, when I see screen tearing it's not screen tearing or Maybe I'm using the wrong term at least. going for the triple there so yeah once you're used to that uh, screen lag so to speak oh. all right sorry 
once you're used to, as I was saying, once you're used to that screen lag, you should be able to still play the game normally. Um, and uh, that's about it. Um, everything else looks okay. Graphics, sound, and um, that's it for this video. You're watching 8-bit days a week. And I'll try to load more games on the classic so we can all test it out and see how it goes. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.